Hi there. In this video, we'll learn how to fix overexposed skin tone in Photoshop. So let's get started. I have this overexposed image opened in Photoshop, and you can clearly see that the skin tone lacks midtones. So let's first of all duplicate the image. And for that, right click the background layer and select duplicate layer option. Rename the new layer if you want. I'm going to let it stay unchanged. With this new layer selected, let's go to image and then adjustments and select desaturate. A shortcut to desaturate the image is shift command U on a Mac or shift control U on a PC. Desaturate will make the colors more muted so you'll find the image turning into a black and white image now. Let's go back to image and then adjustments and this time select the invert option. The shortcut for this is command I on a Mac or control I on a PC. Inverting the image will create a negative of the image. So basically it sets all the images color values to their opposite value on a color wheel. So white becomes black, green becomes purple and so on. Next, let's change the blending mode to overlay. The overlay blend mode both multiplies dark areas and screens light areas at the same time. So dark areas become darker and light areas become lighter. You'll find the image getting better already in terms of its tones. Once the blending is done, right click the layer and convert it to a smart object to perform non-destructive editing. Now go to filter and then blur and select Gaussian blur. Adding blur will increase sharpness of the image to some extent. So I'm going to add a blur of two pixels and hit OK. Next, let's select the background layer once again and make another duplicate of this layer by right clicking and selecting the duplicate layer option. Drag this new layer to the top and change its blending mode to soft light. Soft light blending mode transforms every color that is lighter than 50% gray and make it even lighter. Similarly, every color darker than 50% gray will get even darker. And that's exactly what we are planning to achieve here. Now we can reduce the opacity to anywhere between 20 and 30% to further enhance our image. Lastly, and optionally, we can go to adjustments and then levels and move the mid-tone slider to the right a bit to further intensify our image. So this is the original image. And this is how the image looks now. Do let me know what you think about it in the comments. All right, guys, that brings us to the close of our session today. I hope there was some takeaway for you from today's session. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, Goodbye and thanks for watching.